Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a deck review. Hey, today we're going to look at the NPH deck from Neil Patrick Harris and Theory 11. All right, so what is this deck? What is the inspiration behind this deck? You're going to find this deck over at theory11.com and it is a legendary deck of premium playing cards that exudes elegance and sophistication. You know, the NPH playing cards, like I said, they're elegant, they're intricate, they're visually stunning. Every aspect was handcrafted with relentless, unrivaled attention to detail. And as with everything, there's always more than meets the eye. There's secret symbolism built within this deck. So look closely and you might discover a lot more. The NPH playing cards feature a custom ace of spades, joker box design, and modified court typography. Even the inside of the box has a custom elegant gold foil and everything was designed uh, between a collaboration between Neil Patrick Harris and Jay Fletcher. The front of the tech case says premium playing cards courtesy of Neil Patrick Harris and then you have the NPH logo right there and like I said this is things all wrapped up in gold and copper foil. You can see it all the way around. It's a beautiful, beautiful deck. One side says made in the United States. The other side says courtesy of Neil Patrick Harris. The bottom has some ad copy about Theory 11. The back design, of course, is the back design of the cards. And this is all embossed, okay? This isn't just foiled on. You can rub your finger over it and feel the embossing. You get a custom tuck seal uh, on there, which is nice. The, the tuck flap, the tongue right here, has an N inside of a light bulb, and there's some lightning bolts on either side. And then if you open it up, you can see there's a beautiful pattern there as well. That is pretty much it for the tuck case. Let's take a look at these cards. These cards are printed from the United States Playing Card Company. These cards are on a casino stock with a modern cut and air cushion finish. And if you'd like to learn more about stock, cut, or finish, you can click the link below in the description. You know, a lot of people always ask how these cards feel, how they handle. Uh, the best thing I can do is measure them for you with a caliper and give you a scientific measurement. Okay, uh, what I do is I take 10 cards. 10 cards is my standard, that's my go-to. I take 10 cards, put it into a caliper, and then measure them and compare them against other decks of similar feel and thickness so that you can have a better idea of how these cards would measure up against a deck maybe that you've held before. So when I stick 10 cards in a caliper, they come to 2.89. Either way, I would say it's on the thicker end of the spectrum. The back design is a very beautiful image. It's almost kind of Egyptian meets uh, Nikolai Tesla. That's kind of how I would describe it. Uh, the lightning bolts, all kind of beautiful like uh, art deco imagery. Uh, you got a couple of solid colors there, um, the black, the gold, and that little hint of gray. And then you have a tiny uh, white poker border, which I think adds to the effect. Talked a little bit about the mystery and the hidden qualities of this deck. I think right away you're going to notice that you're going to get two uh, ad cards that are kind of like a puzzle card. Um, they go together. Um, one card has uh, a paragraph of writing on it and the other card has uh, little etched out, cut out uh, squares. I would think that you would cut these out, uh, that you would cut the little squares out, the rectangles in different patterns. It would make the other card say different hidden messages. With this deck, you're going to get two original jokers, both of which have an eye in the very center of them. And I suppose you could put them over your eyes and make like, ooh, I don't know. I don't, do I look like Neil Patrick Harris when I do that? Probably not. Your Ace of Spades is very bold, very beautiful. It's very fat and chunky. Uh, it's a big exploded tip there in the center. Kind of looks like the Vitruvian Man a little bit with the circle and the graphs around it. Has the end there for Neil Patrick Harris. Your pips and indice cards will appear standard by all means, uh, but upon a closer examination, you'll see that they are custom. The, I think the pips are a little bit farther pushed apart and they're also a little bit wider, so that kind of adds to the originality of this deck. And your court cards are all gonna be completely standard as well. Um, although they do have a new kind of recoloring that fits the persona of the decks, you're gonna get those reds, those blacks, and those deep golds. All right, so that is my review of the NPH deck from 311, Neil Patrick Harris, and Jay Fletcher. As always, we ask that you like this video just so other people can find it faster. We also recommend that you subscribe to this channel just to stay up to date on the latest in cards and card magic. If you want to follow me on social media, you can. I'm at facebook.com slash magic orthodoxy, twitter.com slash magic orthodoxy, instagram.com slash magic underscore orthodoxy. And if you need more content, you can always find it at magic orthodoxy.com. Thanks. Bye.